We lived in this house for about seven years before we did anything. And it was tiny and dark and just really, really dreary. So when I decided to redo the house, I decided to go with really big, bold pattern in calculated spaces. The wallpaper in the foyer, for example. The foyer is completely open to the dining room, but yet I wanted it to have its own hallmark. So when you arrive, it has its own sense of, hey, this is its own room. I think that it feels taller, it feels wider, it's its own space. My whole design philosophy really starts with working with a neutral base, and then I start to add in layers. For the dining room, I wanted the chairs to be relatively neutral. I wanted them to have some fun, they're practical. And then I started to add in more layers. I wanted a tablecloth because I really didn't like the table. Then I added another tablecloth because I wanted more pattern. On the other side, we added cabinets that we've mounted to the wall and added a plinth below because apparently I collect a lot of alcohol. And then going over into the living room, we decided to add a real statement with our window treatments. Again, we wanted to emphasize the height of the room, and so we went bold there, and we've repeated the blue around the room. I think that helps to really tie it together. And I've also used really specifically scaled furniture. So I have original Vladimir Kagan slipper chairs, but they're shorter. So again, it helps to really emphasize height. And then we've made these tight back sofas, so we're not adding extra depth. And then we can add in little accent pieces that are both functional and pretty. I play around with scale. This is one of our custom rugs, and it's a trellis design, but it's a larger scale than other trellises. And then I've got more floral onto our porcelain, and then I've mixed with tiny polka dots and then a medallion here. But the bigger piece, the sofa, is in a more neutral fabric. But I'm always just playing with the scale, the proportion, and even the tonality, because you can put a lot of pattern in a room if it's not really bold and really colorful. You just have to choose your moments. Our master bedroom is definitely a departure in terms of what you think of as typical bedroom color schemes. It's kind of a funny room because the headboard was originally a mustard leather. I sent it to my upholsterer. I had them reupholster it. I found fabric for $2.99 a yard. It was a steal. I had the side tables, but then I decided, you know, what kind of fun color could I put on them? And I thought I'd go with a malachite green. And then we went with that rich indigo on the walls. The drapery was actually left over from a project. The chair, somebody brought it into my store. Their dog had eaten the lion head off one of the sides. So we had a, a carver fix it for her. And then when I called her to tell her to come and pick it up, she just said, keep it. And I come into the room now, all the pattern, it makes it feel like it's the biggest room in the house. It, it's really cozy and I'm just, I'm still not sick of the color, which as a designer, that is an amazing thing. My son's room is probably about seven by nine. So we again went with a really oversized piece of furniture, his bed, we have his teepee, and he loves it. So, you know, again, it's about being cozy. He loves to take his friends there. He has a, an overwhelming stuffed animal collection that he will not part with. Um, so we've incorporated that into the decor. And again, it feels very much like him. We have one main bathroom and we recently redid it and it needed it definitely. We needed storage. So for the very first time, I now have a vanity, which I'm so excited about. And I found the most amazing marble. We chose a herringbone floor and we did a, you know, a combination. When you've got a small space like that, you can go with big, expensive tiles or you know, beautiful mosaics because it doesn't cost much. You don't have a lot of square footage. My favorite spaces tend to be smaller spaces to decorate because your budget goes much further. And you can make bold statements. If you notice throughout the house, I have really big light fixtures, especially in the bathroom. And I like that. I like making those statement pieces. The house is modern traditional. I mean, this is a Victorian. It has wonderful character pieces that we've saved and salvaged. And I love juxtaposing the very, very traditional with more contemporary pieces. I think a house just feels more lived in when you do that. I like to layer. I like it to look like a livable, luxurious space.